what's involved in servicing an electric vehicle. Well, this is a video of our first service on our 2018 40 kilowatt LEAF at our independent garage that's Hevra approved. More about that later. Lifts the bonnet, supports the bonnet, makes a visual check, make sure there's nothing loose, checks the auxiliary battery there, and then a unique thing to Orkney is remove nesting material. Yes, we have starlings that love to build nests in vehicles. For internal combustion engine, this could represent a fire problem because of heat, but of course, in an EV, we have no heat, so it's not an issue, but makes it look untidy. Check the uh, Type 2 and Chadamo connections. There's some small drain holes, which allow any moisture or rain to run away, so check they're clear. Next. It's uh, all washer fluid time. I top up my own washer fluid, but this is part of a service. The only fluid you'll see in an EV. Pops it up on the uh, four poster lift. He will remove all the tires, check for damage to the wheels and tires, and tire tread depth as well. Removes the brake calipers. Interestingly, this is not on Nissan's official first service. They don't even take the wheels off but our independent garages will advise you will uh, just to check the brake pads and I'm glad we did because over time you get debris, dirt, slight bits of surface corrosion that will hamper the movement of the brake caliper and the brake pads upon the discs. So it removes the shims and then he's going to use what's called some aluminium ceramic grease. This lubricates the surfaces keeps everything uh, debris free and allows free movement of the brake caliper and the pads which of course is going to be a good thing. This was also uh, carried out on the rear brake caliper that was supported as well whilst he uh, cleaned up those grooves and channels removing any debris that will have collected over the last 20,000 miles. So uh, apply some grease to those grooves as well. And a bit of wire brush work going on. This was carried out on all four wheels. And also visual checks whilst he was under there as well for uh, brake lines, etc. Here apply some more grease. 40 PSI is what I like. Also check the automatic tyre pressure monitoring system in all four wheels then it's a case of torquing all four wheel nuts back up to the correct torque and it's a final check of the lenses a bit like an MOT check make sure the lights are all working the windscreen wipers are being clear in the windscreen correctly a quick check to see if there's any fault codes within the ECU which there wasn't and then also replace the pollen filter which I inadvertently forgot to video. But that's what's involved in the service. This was done at an independent garage, part of the Hevra organization. So look them up on Google. They're independent garages for your EV for servicing and repairs. And you can find the nearest EV independent Hevra approved garage next to you. So thanks for watching. This was just to show what is involved in an EV service.